but what they say is so much more than they say. Cause words don't describe true feelings like I spend every brand new day dreaming of that yesterday, knowing there's a tomorrow. Show me my heart will fall Oh God, now the neighbors they fight too. Uh -huh. Fight? Yes, man. I saw they must to fight every weekend, but now this Monday morning show now you can't see us fast. Who open the gate for that woman now? Stupid man, come inside now. Let me break like a coconut head. Idiot man, devil in trousers. Ooh. Come back to your house, boy. This is your house. Madam, take, 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 take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. I am so, so sorry for disturbing you. My name is Umfon. I live two houses away. And the idiot that wants to bring down your gate is my husband of 12 years. Shameless man! Go okay, it's okay. Home. Darling, just take, take her inside. Darling, take her inside. Take her inside. No, Darling, no, take her inside. No, take her inside. Take her inside. Calm down. 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 Me, calm down for that. If you calm down for that woman, she will dip you. She will dip you inside the bowl of soup. I swallow you like fufu. Eh? Where are you from? I'm from Owe Imo State. Owe Imo State. I am from Anan in Nikolik, Bene. But I was raised in Abriba, in Abia State. Eh? And I know that you know that women should not talk before or after men talk. But fighting? Fighting? Me? Fighting a woman? How can I fight a woman? I am only showing her who the man is. Listen, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, listen. How long have you been married? Four months. Only? Four months only. Listen, you have to put her in the right place now before she turns you into a woman rapper. Thank you so much. Since I married that man, he has not allowed me to be a human being. I fetch and carry for him. He will not eat unless I cook for him. I wash his clothes. I iron them. I sweep his room. I tidy it. Now, he wants me to wash his cars, all six of them. What? Exactly. I provide for her. Okay. I provide for all her needs. Feeding, food, clothing, shelter, everything. I pay the children's school fees. Oh, overseas, overseas holidays twice in a year. I don't womanize, and I don't socialize. Hmm? She has every single goal every other woman in a social circle has. What else does she need? All I'm asking is a single respect for me as the man of the house. Is that too much to ask? No. Oh, so why don't, why don't you just tell her to just come out and come and, and, and let me show her people no, no, that she needs to know? But you know I can't do that. Huh? I mean, you can't resolve your problems by using your fist. Are you saying that in three months, in three months, your wife has not said or done anything to want to make you show her who the man is? 
Of course she has. Oh ho! But I cannot beat her. But why did you not show her? <laughs> Listen, my woman knows that I am the man. All she wants from me is to realize that I am one. Grammar. Listen, my brother, I am so sorry you think so. But you see, when you have to require your muscle to prove to a woman that you are the man, then there is something you are not doing right. Trust me, mm. there is definitely something you are not doing right. My eyes have opened. And I've realized that all these years, all I have been to this man is a cook, a steward, who warms his bed for him at night and bears his children. Would you believe he would not even let me go to work? I made a first class in accountancy and I was completing my master's degree when I met a married Prince Charming. But from the word go, he's turned me into what I cannot recognize. But from today, enough is enough. But oh, madam, call me Umfum, please. But Umfum, you've allowed all of this for the past 12 years. 12 miserable years. Twelve miserable years. But from today, it's enough. You do not know where my mates are today. I saw Chidi Makolo the other day. She's now executive director of Afri Bank. Hassan, who will not even come near my back in the MBA class, now runs a one billion dollar asset management company. But take a look at me. I'm running down the streets fighting with my husband and drinking tea on the couch of a newlywed. You see, being a man goes beyond providing basic needs for a woman. I mean, anybody can provide food, shelter, clothing, etc. You see, what we men need to do is to prove to our women that we can provide even much more than that. Ububo, by the time you are married for 12 years plus, eh, and she has turned you into a woman rapper, you will come and talk to me. Listen, I am late for a meeting. If I stay here any minute from now again, I'll be late. So go in there, tell my wife that I must not get food before her. Do you understand? After listening to you, I just realized that your husband is threatened by your sudden need for self-actualization and independence. But I know that. You should better step up or ship out. No, 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 no. Not like that. You have to help him understand that your need to actualize yourself does not make him any less a man or a husband. Are you kidding me? Most Nigerian men are made to believe that a strong woman means a weak husband. But that is gross generalization. Show me the exception that proves that rule. Exactly. Now a word of advice. You better put your foot down now on the way you want to live or else 10 years from now you'll be running down the streets fighting the war of independence. Ito has gone back home. He has a meeting by 9.30. Well, it's 9.25. Eh? Oh my God, it's going to be late. Thank you so much for the tea. I'm so sorry. I'm calling you. What? What was that? 12 years of marriage. <laughs> <laughs> God. Well, 
Speaking about later, I'll be mega late. I need to go upstairs, have a shower while you make some breakfast. Can no, why don't you make breakfast while I have my bath? Huh? Smart man. You're late, I'm late too now. So why don't you make breakfast while I go and have my bath? I should make breakfast breakfast for you. What's there in making breakfast? I should make breakfast? Well, you've made breakfast before. Now. Oh, because I made breakfast before. That now makes it my job? Excuse me, Kelvin. Whose job is it to make breakfast? Do you want me to define your matrimonial duties for you? I know my matrimonial duties. All I'm asking is who you pay a salary to cook in this house. Oh, oh, so this useless woman, this hopeless useless woman has come here to tutor you on how to be a bad wife? Mm, my thoughts exactly. That wife controlling beast has given you some wife battering tips. But let me warn you, it cannot work for me. Listen to me, my friend. You will make me breakfast now. Oh, gross! You will show me who the man is by using your money to pound me. My sister! My sister! My sister! I only love it to judge that matter. immediately. Yes, my dear. And while you're at it, make sure you wash my car, okay? Yes, my dear. And clean my red shoes downstairs. Yes, my dear. And make sure the children and the dog have eaten. Yes, my dear. Is there any other thing you want me to do for you, my dear? Oh, I almost forgot. I'm going to buckle my shoes. My shoes. Buckle, buckle, buckle. Ow! Careful! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Ow! I'm so sorry, my dear. Still any other team, my dear. Get out. And make sure you do them now, right now. Yes, my dear. Children, go to bed. We have not eaten our food. Our dinner, so. What is your mother doing that she has not given you dinner? I don't know. Nafisa! Nafisa! Mm -hmm. Come here! Come here! So, so. Why have these children not eaten their dinner? Children, uh, I was making the dinner, so. At this time, uh, Nafisa, at this time, what are you doing in this house all day that you have not made dinner? Uh, sorry, sir. I was uh, washing and ironing the clothes. And that is the reason why you are late? Sorry. Eh? Have these children had their party? Uh, when I finish cooking, I will go and talk. How dare you talk to me when I talk to you? How dare you talk back at me? Now listen to me. Listen to me. I, I am the lord and master of this house. I am the king of this house. When I tell you to jump, 
You say how high? Jump. Oh, why? Jump. Oh, why? I said jump. Oh, why? Very good. Now, you see this, my children? You will take them, you will bat them, you will feed them, then you will put them in bed. Then you make my dinner. Yes, sir. Get out. Let's go. Let's go. And what are you cooking? Uh, fried rice, sir. For what bread? Fried rice? In this house? Listen, you make me your hot soup. I'm part of the jam, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And make sure you're in bed at exactly 11 o'clock. Okay. We have some mapping to do. I am the Lord and Master of this house. I demand respect and I will get respect. Osanumbua. God forbid! God forbid my coming in. Uh, oh, hi, Amanda. What a pleasant surprise. Please come in. I was in the neighborhood. What planet were you on? <laughs> Please sit down. Thank you. Uh. Now, how is Kelly? <laughs> He's fine. I can see you're still on cloud nine. <laughs> Very much so. So it's not true that after the honeymoon, the couple come down to earth with a bump? <laughs> no, not at all. Thank God, though. You know, I've been thinking seriously about this marriage thingy. All my friends seem to be going through a lot of stress. You know, fighting, packing out, packing in, and all sorts. Some even break up in record time. But I trust yours is different. <laughs> we thank God. <laughs> There's this friend of mine. She got married, barely six months, and she's tired. Nefisa, is everything all right? Huh? Are you? Is everything all right? Oh, 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 yes. You know, I was thinking about this neighbor of mine, Ufo. She says that she cooks, washes her husband's clothes, and even washes his cars. Get out of here. Honestly. Can you imagine? What do you think? I'm not married at all, but no man, dead or alive, will turn me into a cook steward. I will stand my ground and make sure I don't become a footman to any man come with me. I hope I'm not putting ideas in your head. <laughs> oh no, no, not at all. So, you do have a maid, right? Uh, well, I don't, uh, but I'm getting one right this minute. Good for you, girl. Hello? Uh, mommy? Oh, yes, I'm fine. You too? <laughs> okay. Uh, mommy, I was wondering, is the house of offer still available? <laughs> Thank you very much, Ma. Okay, bye. Love you too. Way to go, girl. <laughs> oh, so what have you been up to aside from work? Oh, well, I, my work, my family, of course. But now, I just have to quickly finish this proposal that we could go for lunch, right? Yeah. Baby. Is everything all right? Yeah, sure. sure. See, because why I'm absent, you followed me into a restaurant and you're refusing to eat. Baby, please, I'm not saying you should have an affair. Open him to the man. All I'm saying is try and put your favorite meal in your hungry stomach. You need it. You're right. It's just that um, I don't think my wife would appreciate it if I eat outside. Why is it always what your wife says? Two has become one. Ah, this two has become one. Does it equally include your favorite meal and the things that you want? Eh? All I'm saying is, but don't put on a marriage there. Put your foot down in this your marriage. Please, like an evil man. You see, two has become one in everything you do once you're married. Huh? It's called sacrifice. Ah. Little sacrifice, Yawa Jano Libo. In a You, this sacrifice, does she sacrifice for you? Like, cooking your favorite meal, what you like to eat. Spicing it up with things like crab, only it Does she do that for you? Also, go on, I try that. 
I'll, I'll go to those quests. Okay. Yeah. Do you think my wife is riding me? Chineke. Oh, in Adum, you are asking me whether your wife rides you. On Anya, you come motorcycle. She drives you like a motorcycle. Look at you. Between your favorite meal in your stomach, you are afraid. Why? Eh, you are the student. She's the headmistress, so that she won't flog you when you get home. Hey, get out. Get up. Behaving like a man. <laughs> 